there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a weapon mod here. This is another one's PPS 43. So the PPS 43, according to Wikipedia on my phone, um, is a Soviet submachine gun chambered in 762 by 25 millimeter Tokarev developed by Alexei Sudayev as a low-cost personal defense weapon for reconnaissance units, vehicle crews, and support service personnel. Also, if I scroll down here in Google, it, there's a question. Is the PPS-43 good? The Soviet PPS-43 submachine gun is considered by many authorities to have been the best weapon of its type produced in the Second World War. So it's a, it's a World War W gun. Submachine gun. The best submachine gun. It had its origins in other versions. There was a PPS-42. Obviously, we're probably referring to 1942. This is the 1943 version. We have the weapon here. This mod, when you get it, is added to the leveled list. So I have personally bought it off of Arturo in this particular case. Um... Very black model here. Very much, you could tell it's Soviet origins because it looks like the Papasha or the uh, PPSH. Is that it's like the, the the this is the PPS? Is it, I don't know if that's any different, right? The but like so this is a submachine gun, the best submachine gun, 0.38 ammo, because obviously we don't have 7.62 by 25 millimeter ammunition, Tokarev ammunition in Fallout 4. I mean they could have added it, but sometimes people don't like that anyway as it is. We have a, just kind of the basic weapon here. Um, the model here is not like the most advanced looking textures in the world, and you can kind of tell that when you're looking at it. The difference between this and like the Papasha PPSH, obviously we have unique reload animations and stuff here. It's quite a long reload, but it looks nice. Um, is that this one doesn't fire as fast. Like the PPSH is, is notorious for its like 900 crazy rate, you know, rapid rounds per minute rate of fire this one has more of a 500 or 600 so it's more of a chunkier fire rate. and you can kind of tell that the mod author has applied that here in this game nice chunky rate of fire so obviously there's there's a guaranteed spawn of this weapon or something in in walden drugs and concord so we're gonna head there eventually but i already got one so let's take a look at what we can do customize customization wise with this weapon so rapid automatic receiver we can make it semi-auto powerful automatic receiver but you can do what would isn't it like advanced receiver no advanced receiver huh like because that's what it would normally be the best is this no i guess they're all automatic right calibrated power is that a semi-auto receiver i just really gotta check because like I, I don't know my receiver name sometimes it is it, excuse my camera i have not quickly applied my camera animations okay this is better now but it's semi-auto i can't hold the trigger and it doesn't shoot over and over again see i'm hold i'm holding the trigger you can you can see it's, it's a semi-auto this is a semi-auto version i would not use a submachine gun semi-auto just to be personal about it it's nice to see that the, the animations do work in the third person though we could just give that a little quick test here real quick i'm gonna make it automatic uh powerful automatic i think would be the best here with that 90 rate of fire still high, you get integral suppressor here, standard barrels, standard extended barrels, so it allows muzzle devices. Okay, so we should look at the muzzle devices first. Uh, compensators, muzzle brakes, uh, of different varieties, different kinds of suppressors and stuff. But really, wouldn't you just integrally suppress it and then not have to have a thing? Like, And, and y'all can argue, I don't know if there's anybody out here actually uses muzzle brakes or compensators instead of a suppressor in Fallout. I don't think there's any major reason why you'd ever do that but integral suppressor here does just increase accuracy it's just a better thing who cares about muzzles so we have a folded stock currently folded up and now but we can put a skeleton stock out here a steel stock or a wood stock i imagine i mean these are all functionally similar in terms of their vast accuracy stat the one that required the both the wood stock and the skeleton stock require the highest gun nut perk so i might they add the benefit of recoil control the steel stock doesn't say recoil controls. We don't know if it does or not, though. Like, it's it's not something I'm going to test the recoil of every different attachment in Fallout 4. Um, I probably prefer the wood stock, though. I'm a big wood grain sucker. So, um, 50 round mag is the biggest mag. You can go 20, 35, 50. So, obviously, we have the best mag on here. We can get some scopes on here. Very modern looking scopes for what is essentially a World War II weapon. Um, lots of different reflex red dot type opticals. Your EOTEX, your um, ACOGs. You, you know, your Spectre DR 2.5 times zoom scope. All this stuff's a little extra for me right now. Um, I like the standard sights. They were kind of fine. Um, but, like, maybe, like, a Cobra sight we'll just put on there just for the purposes. Uh, I leveled up. Okay, I guess we could put glow sights on. Um, I didn't realize that that was a separate thing. And then, obviously, you have damage modifiers here. 
Is the damage modifiers necessary? I, well, I guess we'll find out. We're not going to put one on right away, but... At, at 40 damage of 0.3 ammo, it's still doing better than the base game submachine gun, I would imagine. So, um, we have a Cobra site here. Integrally suppressed actually sounds really nice, too. I think that's a big benefit, because a lot of suppressed weapons don't sound good. So this is, I think it's got its own unique suppressed sound. It, just, it, it definitely sounds unique to any vanilla weapon in the game. Um, I did want to kind of see the glow sights, though. Uh, the Cobra sight is fine. Obviously, scopes are all personal preference. There's a lot of options here. You'll be able to find the scope that you want with this gun with the amount of variety they have here. That's the point because of all the modern, neat-looking sights. But if I just use standard sights here, I just want to see the glow sights. They look like they glowed red, which is kind of interesting. That's an interesting color choice. Most glow sights are green. But I could definitely aim like this. There's no recoil on this gun. I mean, like, this is the tiniest bit. But, like, not where you'd be concerned about it because you're never going to... I think shoot 50 rounds in a row. It'd be more like that. It'd be like max 10 round burst like that. Before something fucking dies. We'll see, I guess. So we're going to test it out in some combat. But it, the weapon does look nice. Like I said, the texture quality is not amazing. But there's always that compromise. And I bring this up every time I talk about texture quality. Especially when it's not as maybe the best that it could possibly be. Because you have to make the file sizes smaller. That's just the conditions of making mods. Especially for console here. Right? But it is, it sounds good and integrally suppressed. The wood grain does not look awful on that compared to some other wood grain on the stock and stuff you can see there. It looks pretty good. Uh, functions in third person, functions in first person. It's got unique animations, unique sounds. Um, you know, I think enough attachment variety that you get what you need out of it. You want to make it suppressed, you want to make it not suppressed. It's, it's an automatic machine gun that you can technically even make semi-auto. Not that I'd ever... I mean, I guess you recommend that because technically that's how Fallout 4 works, but you know, like, don't even get me started. I can make videos about my opinions about Fallout 4. You know how many hours I put in this game? <laughs> I'm going to go put in some more hours in it by now because we're going to go test the weapon out in some combat, though, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Hey there, everybody. We're rolling up in my zombies running in arcade mode. I did not draw enough attention to this uh, running animation here. This is kind of a unique running animation. We're not lowering the weapon as much as some other weapon mods do. Um, obviously, the weapon can be lowered here, too, as well, um, if you have some functionality like that. But this is like... It very much bobs in front of you, right? Like, almost like always ready to shoot. It's not that far off from hip firing it, which is, you know, essentially the whole reason some machine guns exist is that you can just kind of fire from the hip. Let's jump into my Zombies Arena arcade mode here, though, and shoot some fucking stuff in its fucking face. Um, I guess, right? Like, that's essentially what we're here for. Um, we're going to try to, if I remember right, i got to remind myself here. Um, let's spawn in some Raiders. Why not? I mean, that guy just got absolutely meltified, right? Like, he's just dead. It was, did not take very many bullets. Obviously, my raiders here are not that tough. Time's up, bitch. Are you kidding me right now? I'm meant to be suppressing this. I don't know where I'm at. It's unfortunate. Um, but we're trying some bat shots. I mean, that's decent enough bats accuracy at close range. You can put a longer range scope on it, and that will increase the accuracy stat, which increases the accuracy in bats if you really want to go nuts. But obviously, we're one bursting raiders in there. Not the raiders are the toughest enemy type we can run into here. Um, but it is the deal. I don't need to reload as much as I am, just showing it off. You need the goddamn fire support, you just need to goddamn die. I, like, broke my camera angle to third person. This person's on my level, according to the... So they gotta be in there? They are in there, huh? And they're just dead. Like, that was it. Is there anybody else left here? No, that was it. So, obviously, it's not, like, the craziest submachine gun in the whole world or anything. It's not, like, the most advanced, featureful weapon I've ever seen, but it does just feel good. It, the fire rate feels nice, especially at fully automatic, nice and chunky, right? The reload animation is unique and custom. It's got custom textures that look well. The Everything about it, there's nothing bad about it. I mean, I guess you could argue it doesn't have some modern features. I mean, the fact that it has modern reflex sights and ACOGs and all that shit is modern enough for it as anyway, because it's a World War II gun, okay? But, like, you don't have, like, flash sights or laser sights or some shit that other weapon mods like to have, uh, modern weapon mods specifically. Um, but it really just, it just feels good in the hand, I guess. Low, very low recoil, nice, intuitively suppressed sound. I mean, the reload is long, I guess. Maybe it's a little too long. I do have the quick hands perk on, too, so this is as fast as it gets. But that's the cost, I believe, probably, of having the 50-round mag. I, I haven't tested this. But I imagine smaller magazines might reload a little bit faster. And if they don't, then 50 rounds becomes the easy decision. Anyway, the PPS-43 is a good submachine gun. Like Just like the Google said in the beginning of the thing. When people ask Google, is, is the PPS-43 good? It is good. That is my that's Pop on Top's official opinion of the weapon. 
So, if you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on that page and the Nexus mod page, so you can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video, that's the deal. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, so that way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I'll see you in the next episode.